Hello, my name is Peter and welcome to this tutorial for Divi Machine. This is the first of the videos which will show you how to set up a car listing website using Divi Machine. Uh, this is the first video that I want you to start off with and before I get going I want to stress that this uh, Divi Machine is not just for car listing websites. It can be used on multiple uh, different applications such as how, uh, real estate, estate agents, uh, testimonials, projects, team members, uh, any kind of like even documentation, anything like that where you need to have um, you know custom fields and and custom posts and then displaying that content. So this tutorial, well, well one, the idea behind this is to show you how to use the plugin and then two, to show you how I use a plugin to create a car listing website. So you'll see, you'll start off on this video and you'll end up at the end creating a website like um, like you'll see. Now, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, so anyway, so let's just jump straight in. Okay, so you need to have Divi installed. So I have Divi installed and I have WordPress. So go to plugins and, and, and uh, add new and then upload the Divi Machine plugin and activate it. The first thing you'll see is Divi Machine requires advanced custom field to be installed and active. Please download it here. So we uh, so we use advanced custom fields for all the different uh, you know for all the different uh, fields you need for your for your listing. So for example here I'm going to use it for price, number of doors, um, different variations. So you need to have that installed uh, at the moment. In the future we, we might look at making it so it doesn't need to have advanced custom fields but for now you have to. Advanced custom fields is a free plugin. There is a pro version as well but we all our settings we like to just have with the free version. So for example our gallery we give you the option native there is no option to have a gallery with a free advanced custom fields. However we have a, a, a nice little workaround that you can use to get that working. So I'm gonna just I'm just using a free version for this tutorial. Okay, so let's jump in. The very first thing you want to do is create your custom post. So head over to Divi Engine and Post Types. In here you can create well the first thing you actually need to do is go into settings and then enter in your license key, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna focus on that over here. So post type, so that, yeah, so here we're gonna be creating our post type. It can be as I said, it can be team members, it can be you know testimonials. Over here, I'm just gonna add cars click off and will auto populate all the different fields so you can just go through and just make sure that it's what you want the one thing to focus on is this post type slug this is when is the slug for your custom post for your archive page for example so let's say if we want to go view all the cars it'll be your domain forward slash cars and it'll show your cars uh, so you can just go down and just make sure but everything's going to look fine uh, you want to make it public or you can actually disable it so the public can't see it. Uh, show an admin bar below posts. Yep. So here the admin bar sidebar icon. So you see these icons on the left over here. You can choose a specific icon. So if you click on here, we can see this gives you all the different icons that you can use. So what you want to do is to go down and find the icon that you want to use. Uh, for example, uh, I may want to use, um, let me just try to find one that kind of that aligns with a car. No, the dash dash one works. Uh, so let's just use this one for now. Looks like a gear. So here we can go, copy that, go back, paste it in there. Show an admin bar. That's the top over here. Yes, I say I do want to do that. Show it. Yes. Taxonomy. So uh, we we separate our custom category and tags from the. You know, under post you have category and tags. By default, with with a um, when you add a new custom post, it'll share the categories and tags, so they're all so they're all common between. However, we give the option, and this is what we do here, is we create custom ones just for your post type. This is better because you know you may want to have several different post types. You may want um, you know sales and re and and renting rentals, for example. You may want to have different categories for each of them. So here we you allow that. Yes, title content, you can you know enable which ones you wanna 
what it supports. Um, if you want to exclude from search, enable this. But we don't. And um, you can also use a custom slug over here for your um, your archive pages. But let's just leave it like that for now. To be honest, all you really want to be doing is just we kind of you know populate all the 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 settings which which generally people use. So don't worry too much about all of this. So I've added cars. I'm just going to publish this now. And now what you'll see is in the left hand side there will be this new custom post called cars. In there I have no cars and I have no categories or tags which I need to set up. Okay so that's it for this video. So this is the very first video. Um, you know it's very basic but uh, yeah let's go on this journey together. So I'll see you in the next video.